adjusting your carburetor at this particular point if you look at this screwdriver i hope the camera can capture that okay if you look carefully at this screwdriver there is a screw here you tighten it a little bit to the right about two three times to the right hello guys welcome to another class on benko institutes i will be looking at this generator on your screen and we'll be looking at how to reduce petrol consumption of this particular generator often at times people ask me gideon i have a generator but after buying my petrol i don't just know how the petrol vanishes well if you watch this video till the very end you would know how to stop your petrol from vanishing in your generator you get okay so without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the video this particular generator for those who don't know is a two-stroke generator is a generator where you have to mix the petrol and the oil together like other generators which are four stroke where that have a different compartment for oil this generator does not have that okay and that makes it more tricky to uh, reduce the consumption of its petrol the first thing you do when you have a generator is to reduce the speed of your generator okay speed is actually proportional to petrol consumption if your the speed of your generator is so high be rest assured that the consumption of your petrol your generator consumption of petrol is also going to be high so what you do is to reduce the speed of your generator let's assume your generator speed is so high very high this particular generator speed is so high what you do is to come in let me kickstart the generator so you see what i'm talking about okay what i did just now was to kickstart the generator and stylish to tell you that the speed of the generator can be increased with this screw here okay when you kickstart the generator and you observe your generator is high when your generator sound is high and it works very fast just know that your generator consumes more for what you do at that point in time is to take this to the left there's a screw underneath this part you just insert your screwdriver into the screw and take it to the left you have reduced it a little reduce it to a point you feel the generator is now working fine and with that you succeeded in reducing the uh, percentage of oil consumption of your generator to a very large extent secondly also note that your generator um petrol consumption has to do with your load as well if you use your generator for a large amount of load your generator consumes more fuel okay when your generator powers a lot of load it consumes more fuel so it is necessary to use your generator for only necessary appliances do not use for appliances that you may not use or let's assume you are in your city room you are putting on your fan in your city room and your fan in your room is still on what's the essence of putting on your fan in your room when you are just in the city room it is necessary you put up the fan in your room so petrol consumption can be reduced uh, if you are new to this channel have you and you are just seeing this video for the first time i am benko uh, we post generator contents on this channel and i implore you to please subscribe to the channel and turn your notification bell so watch this to the end to see other points i will highlight here number three is also very important just like number four number three on our list is this for i have understand over time that generator users do not take cognizance of the amount of petrol or the type of petrol rather they use in their generator let me point this categorically most petrol stations sell inferior fuel that do uh, that are very very volatile so what this means is if you have a petrol if you have a generator and you pour your petrol inside before you know your generator the petrol in your generator evaporates this oxidation process is very 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 fast and because of that the petrol finishes in no time so i employ you to look for a good filling station that sells good petrol and use it for your generator if you apply this process your generator petrol is going to last and the fourth which is very the, the the most important is adjusting your carburetor as much as this is technical i only advise those that can do it to do it if you look carefully at this particular point if you look at this screwdriver i hope the camera can capture that 
okay if you look carefully at this screwdriver there is a screw here okay there is a screw here this particular screw okay this particular screw okay this particular screw if your generator consumption is quite high what you do is to tighten it a little bit so there's a process to tighten it you tighten it a little bit to the right about two three times to the right and see how it looks what i mean is when you tighten it to the right make sure it gets to the end where it's not tight then you lose it back a little about two or three times to the left by this time you've calibrated the carburetor to a particular state where good foil metered foil can get into your generator i hope this few tips of mine is able to help you to conserve the petrol generator the petrol of your generator and if it did help you please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification till we meet in our next class it's goodbye from us